Hello everybody, welcome back. I am the Tronic and this is my Elder Scrolls Anthology review. Yes, and today we're gonna review the Elder Scrolls Anthology. This came actually came out a while ago, but not many people have heard about it until now. And so thus I will do a review of it because mainly because I recently got it. Um but this is as of January 2015. Now, the Elder Scrolls Anthology does not include the Elder Scrolls Online. It includes the original five main series games. That being the Elder Scrolls Arena, the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, and the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Yes, this includes all the previous um, five games for the Elder Scrolls. And so, if you want to have all six games you'll have to go and purchase um, Elder Scrolls Online separately. Now this can be bought for around $40 at Target, this is where I purchased it from, um, but you could probably could get it cheaper at say GameStop or somewhere else or wait until it drops down in price. Now this is about the same amount of money to buy for the Skyrim Legendary Edition, so if you're looking for that and you're, and you're looking for it for PC, then I recommend you buy this instead because it does include all the previous games plus it includes the Skyrim Legendary Edition in it. So it includes all the updates all everything it includes the dlcs and detailed maps for each of the games um also this thing runs on windows 7 8 vista xp and i do not believe it runs on mac but um you, you probably want to check that out if i'm if i'm wrong but i don't think it runs on mac but anyway yes for the dlcs that are included within this package it includes Tribunal, Blood Moon, Knights of the Nine, Shivering Isles, Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, Dragonborn, etc. You know, like all the ones that have been released. Um, plus it releases all the maps for each of the games. So we have, you know, the Skyrim map that we received in the Skyrim game. We have an entire Tamriel map. We have a Cyrodiil map. We have a Vardenfell map. And we have um, that region, the Ilac Bay region for Daggerfall um, for each of the regions so it's pretty pretty nice little package plus it includes a little story for each of them as well and includes a little booklet with um, each chapter in it set for you so it's really really nice and includes even some um, of the construction sets for mods and stuff for like the recent games like Morrowind or Oblivion or Skyrim so it's pretty nice it's a complete collection for you especially if you're an Elder Scrolls fan I highly recommend you get this especially if you have say maybe only one or two of the games and you want the rest of them this is an easy easy purchase in my opinion but if you do have one of the um if you do have two out of three of the most recent games then i recommend you don't get it um mainly because you're pre pretty much just purchasing one game when you could just be going to like steam or something and purchasing that one game instead of just buying this entire package and you know cluttering up your room or something but i mean it, it is pretty much neatly packed together in this booklet but anyway, I will go over each of uh, the games now and give the, the description of each of the games, their stories, um, if you have not played um, these as of yet. So anyway, first of all, there is Arena, the original Elder Scrolls game. Um, basically, the story is an Imperial battle, ma battle mage. His name was Jagger Tharn. He betrays the Emperor Uriel Septim by imprisoning him in an alternate dimension. Then he... Then he assumed the Emperor's identity and basically placed himself on the throne. And basically what your job is, is to travel to most of Tamriel's most famous sites and collect the Shattered Staff of Chaos and then save the Emperor. And basically, that's basically the story for the arena. Now for Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall, I'll give you a brief description here. Uh, the ancient golem Nibidium, a powerful weapon which was once used... Um, by Tiber Septim to unify Tamriel is found in the Ilac Bay region. And basically, as there is a power struggle that follows, the King of Daggerfall is murdered in this time and his spirit remains haunting the kingdom. So Ural Septim um, basically sends you, you know, his champion, to the province of High Rock to put the King's spirit to rest and ensure that the golem does not fall into the wrong hands. So basically, you have to do all that for the Daggerfall. That's basically the story for that. Now for Morrowind, if you have not played Morrowind yet, basically you you are a reincarnation of a Dunmer hero, the Nerevar. And basically the Emperor sends you to Morrowind to rid of the dark curse that is plaguing it. So that is pretty much the gist of the Morrowind story. Now for Oblivion, an Oblivion story, basically, basically Hell's Gates open up all around Tamriel and you're supposed to basically close them 
and save all of Tamriel and Cyril pretty much from Oblivion and the Daedric Prince Maroon's Dagon. Uh, so pretty much you have to find the the Emperor's son, the last heir, which is Martin Septim, and basically he's supposed to close the jaws of Oblivion. So basically that's the gist of this story. You pretty much have to stop um, Oblivion or Hell um, from conquering our world is basically what you're doing. Alright, for the last game, if you haven't played this, then you're pretty much missing out boy but anyway skyrim <laughs> is basically the dragons have returned to tamriel and you are the hero the dragonborn now as the dragonborn you're supposed to obviously slay the dragons and take their power and defeat the ultimate king of the dragons which that is alduin now so pretty much the dragonborn at this point is the most powerful mortal hero in the game but uh that is for now um but anyway guys if you, I really highly recommend getting this unless you have um, at least maybe two of the most recent games, um, that being Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. If you have at least two of them, then I recommend you just buy the other one separately or on its own, um, especially if you have the DLCs for um, the other two. But besides that, this is a pretty good buy, especially if you want all all the huge collection with all the maps and all the discs and everything all the c construction sets and everything that even come with Morrowind Oblivion and all of the DLCs for everything this includes everything so I highly recommend it if you want it um, but anyway guys thanks for watching please subscribe if you want to see more uh, I do have an Elder Scrolls 6 theory series um, which we speculate its future and all of that good stuff thanks guys for watching I highly love you all and peace out thank you very much